Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be this brown lip, you know, reddish brown eye look. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. I was very inspired by one of my best friends, her name is Elisa, and she kind of rocks this on the daily. Um, the lip obviously changes, but she always wears one of these chokers, and she does something like this. So I was very inspired, and I wanted to bring out True Brown K for you guys, just because I've been wearing this color like every day, and I'm obsessed. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me on my social media, because I will be posting on there a lot. Let's get into the tutorial. <laughs> Okay, everyone, so we are starting clean and fresh and fresh brows and everything. Yes, honey, yes. So today for a primer, we're using this Maybelline Master Concealer. I wanted to try something a little bit different today, and I don't know, I've been liking the Wii Concealer works better than my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So blend that out, and I'm going to apply tape to get a nice crisp line. I'm using the 35O Morphe palette. You guys know it's my deal, and I'm using that soft ochre color. And I'm going to set all the concealer that I put on my lids, just because it's going to really help us blend out our shadows. Yes, girl. You know the deal. So I'm taking this really pretty light shadow, and I'm going to put that in my crease, kind of winging it out. I am going to use this very softly, because I mean, I'm going to just make a beautiful transition color. And this is just going to stay there, making it look nice. It may not look like I have anything there, but it's going to really, really help us in the blending process later. And then I'm going to add that color as well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sick. And then I'm going to put that over there as well. And then I'm just going to blend those out together so it'll create beautiful, beautiful transition. So I'm going to take this deeper color here and I'm going to make that more into astringent and I'm going to make it into my crease. It's going to really, really define our crease now and we're going to get a really nice build up. And so I'm just building that shadow up a little bit more and then I'm going to blend it out with my other brush. You can blend it and make it as intense as you want. I made it a little bit more intense just because I wanted it to be very, very noticeable. And then I'm going to be taking these two sienna shades here, the really reddish brown shades, and then I'm going to put that all over my lid. And then with these shades here, they were a little bit, once I blend them out, they get a little bit more sheer, so I really, really packed on the shadow, and then I kind of winged it out, as you can see. And here's when I started blending it out, but then they just started kind of fading a little bit, so I just really, really packed it on. I honestly packed it on for like six times to get the color and vibrancy that I wanted. And then just go ahead and blend in, blend out, repack it on, blend, you know the deal. Just intensify this as you'd like, and remember to not bring it up too, too high, because we don't want that. And then I'm going to be taking the first shade, I'm going to put that all over my brow bone. It's really going to help us blend all the other shadows and make sure it's not going up too high. Because, you know, girl, yes. Anyways, so you guys seen that I just got liner and lashes on. And then I will leave that video down below because I know you guys ask me all the time. And I'm using Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer Mattifying Primer. And then I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Double Wire Foundation. I've been really liking this foundation so far and I like the way I've been doing my makeup now. So all I've been doing is I just buff my foundation out with this Real Techniques buffing brush. And then I go ahead and use my Beauty Blender to blend it out. And I feel like it makes my skin look so smooth, so beautiful, yes. And we already contoured and highlighted and baked, honey. And yes, this video is coming soon, I promise. And then for blush, I'm going to be using my Milani Blush in Luminoso, yes. Just giving me a beautiful warm shimmer on the cheekbone. And then for highlighting, I'm going to use my ColourPop Lunch Money Highlighter. And then, as you can see, I hit pan on it. And then I'm just going to blend it all over my cheek as our base for the highlights. Just because I love this highlight as my base. And then for the highlight on top, I'm going to use my Anastasia Glow Kit. And I'm honestly just mixing them all together to go on my cheek. And I just love this combo, you guys. It's one of my favorites. It makes my cheeks look like hello. And I love it. And then I'm just going to put it on the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. And then I'm just going to take the crease colors. I'm just going to put them down below. And that's honestly all I did. And then I just apply mascara. This is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. If you were wondering, I love this mascara. Wipe away your bakage, your bakage, and then contour your nose. If you contour your nose, I like to contour my nose. 
And then I'm going to be using Kylie Lip Kit in the color or shade True Brown K. I love this shade, you guys. Oh my god, Kylie's Lip Good Lipsticks are my favorite. Oh my god, I love them. They are really, really amazing. And I just applied that all over my lips. And they smell so good too. And yes, girl, look at this. Anyways, you guys, this is the entire tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much, and I will be coming soon. See you later.